Hello folks and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. It's off of date and uh, last episode we finished the first map of the Deep Dungeon. We got way more to go. Uh, so let's go take that trip. Uh, so I'm going to stick with my party from last time. Orlando the Killer, Ralph of the Finder, Beowulf the, uh, the Disabler, and... Uh, and, uh, oh, jeez, my brain is not working. <laughs> and, um, Mustadio, the mediator. And we're entering Terminate. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Bo do 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 do. Okay, sorry. So, Terminate, um, uh, it's a fairly simple level. Um, the rare items in here, not so good. You got the Blood Sword, which we already have, and two elixirs, and a Save the Queen, which we already have, and I've duplicated the crap out of it. So, there's really, in my opinion, there's nothing that you really, like, need in this level. Um, but, you know, you'll see where everything goes and all that stuff and if you decide that you want to get it then you can get it I'm not gonna stop you um one of the rare items uh, elixir is basically right next to Rafa just to the left of her like one block pretty I, I think so and geez so yeah this I mean you guys know this post commentary. I try to make it a little more exciting, but you know it is post commentary just because I I I'm not a good talker and, and thinker at the same time. I will eventually do something live. I'm sure uh, I'm not that bad, but I think I'm just in a better state of commentation. Yeah, there's an elixir. Um, when I am able to use it as post commentary, anyways. I, I did the entire dungeon last night, and I stayed up way too late, and uh, so my brain just isn't completely functioning. I'm also working on the annotations for uh, this uh, series. I probably should have just waited until my next one, or just done one that I didn't have 56 episodes up. <laughs> like, this is probably like the 60th episode or something like that, but I've been, I did like 30. 32 last night and it's just very tedious and each video takes about three minutes just to add six annotations with the links and I have it set up pretty well but it's still it's it's annoying uh, the only thing about fighting well other things that are annoying fighting undead creatures in the deep dungeon because you know you want them to turn into crystals or treasure chests or just you know get the hell out of the way and, you know, sometimes they revive into, uh, <laughs> into ghosts again. Uh, you know, things that I was noticing about this deep dungeon last night is that it's really annoying that it's just one spot because, uh, you know, like, you could have, you could have killed an enemy on that one spot you need to go and, uh, like I said, I'm gonna post links to the, to the maps so you guys can you know, look at the map and figure out where the rare items are. Um, but uh, it, it's weird because you, you look at it and it has the, the four different colors for the rare items and those are easy to read. It's easy to read where you start off at. But then they have like these yellow spots for like where the enemy is, but it's also like locations of like how to get out of the dungeon. So. There's multiple ones, and you don't know which one is which, and ugh, it's it's not that hard, but it's still kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> and you'll see me. I'll, I'll be like stumbling around. I'll be looking like a drunk person trying to find my keys to the to the door or something like that. But uh, it's all in good fun. Now right, let's see here. Yeah, you know, like I said, yeah, I'm not really tripping off of the items here. The really good items are the ones later on in the uh, deep dungeon, of course. Uh, which are which are tasty little treats. Ah, oh, boy. 
Just die. Just die already. Guy love Beowulf. He's he's my jack of all trades. You know? He's not this he's not super strong, but he's just strong enough. And, you know, he's able to disable all these enemies. It's so fun. Yeah, I got out of the dungeon and went into a random battle last night and I was just messing around with Beowulf just killing fools. Hmm. Let's see here. I can't believe we're almost done. We got maybe like, well, the story probably have like ten more episodes, maybe a little bit more. But I mean, like, and then we got some bonus episodes. So I guess we still have like two more weeks at least, and then all those breakdowns. Um, that's fine. It almost done. See the light. See the light at the end of this this let's play tunnel. Unlike Breath of Fire 2. <laughs> Which I still need to get working on. Rune blade in my face? That was rude. Oh yeah, also catch is a decent this is like the only time you'd ever really use catch and uh that's what that's where the blood sword should have been, but it was a Phoenix down. Um, sorry, getting back to that. Uh, wait, what was I saying? <laughs> now, now I lost my train of thought. That's okay. Oh, yeah. No, catch. Catch is... It's like the one time, you know, it's okay to have. Because if you face ninjas uh, or anyone that can throw, they can usually throw some pretty good stuff. And you could luck out and get a chaos blade thrown at you or something like that. It's like the best sword best uh, knight sword in the game although when it comes to knight swords I really wish that the most powerful one also gave you haste I understand why it didn't because it's just that's way too powerful but man oh man <laughs> it's weird it's weird like not having haste after abusing the crap out of Excalibur in the deep dungeon I think it's necessary you need to move quickly you know, you need to find the next spot, keep it going, and look, even with haste on, like, my entire party, this is still taking a while, so. That's all. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm trying to say. And, you know, I didn't use a game shark or anything like that, so technically it's legit. I mean, it's all, you know, just exploiting, huh? It's all exploiting, you know, stuff in the game, and okay, so... Another phoenix down there, but that was supposed to be an elixir. Don't care about elixirs. So, that's... It's it's all cool. Yeah, I wish, like... Well, no, elixirs do it, what, everything it needs to do. Full HP and MP, but... Just wish that meant more in this game. I think because it all scales relatively crazy at the end, like, you know, enemies just one-shot you, uh, rather than, you know, like, it takes, like, a few hits. So I, there's no need for an elixir, because it's like, oh, well, either you're gonna kill or be killed, so, you know, you're never gonna be like, oh god, I just, if I could have an elixir, I'd be fine. Okay, well, you're gonna have that, but it isn't gonna be as bad as it is in other Final Fantasies with an active time battle system, you know? And even then, I don't really use them. <laughs> I'm always like, I hoard that stuff. I'm always like, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, my whole party's dead, and I'm down to, like, 100 HP, but, uh, you know, I'm gonna hold on to that elixir because, uh, I don't think I need it. <laughs> I guess in those situations where I'm down to, like, one character, and, you know, I'm going to use a phoenix down and try to get a second person up before I'm going to fully heal myself. That's just how I how I play because yeah, I figured the enemy is more likely going to attack one person than do a multi-hit uh, spell. Dang it. No luck on this one. That was supposed to be save the queen. But that was a uh, phoenix down. Ah, whatever. Her, I guess her brave's too high. It, it, 20? Jeez. Kind of sucks. <laughs> 
it's really it's it's a little tricky running her at that uh, at that brave, and you'll you'll see me like struggle with it because you know uh, Roms or Zell, he he can use cheer up, and that's an easy five right there, and then uh, Mustadio can add four, uh, and then take away twenty, and you don't want to. You don't want to leave her brave too low at the end of the battle because then you get this warning like, little system, uh, and she could technically leave the party. Um, but the not only that, but it, like it's permanent like brave tinkering, but not like I never I never really understood that. Maybe Karlik could explain that a little bit better. He's really good at, at explaining stuff. Jeez. Like, I feel like I've broken down the game, and he breaks it down even further. Like, wow. It's a blessing of a... of a, of a commentator. Anyways. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I just think it's weird that, you know, you hit cheer up on somebody, say they're at, you know, 20 brave, and you give them... and that gives them 25, and then at the end of the battle they have, you know, 21... I don't know how that factors out, but whatever. <sighs> you see, that's that's gameplay yawning right there. This yawning of a guy that was up to like what four in the morning? <laughs> four in the morning, just going through the dungeon, working on those annotations, and just man. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Well, I'm on vacation. This week is vacation, so that's why I'm able to get so much of this done. It's nice. I didn't really take vacation all year long. It took a little bit in August, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it was coming near the end of the year, and they're like, you have to take your vacation because we're not going to roll it over. And I was like, well, that sounds kind of illegal, but okay. And so. I saw this this week as my opportunity, uh, the week before Thanksgiving, and then the you know Veterans Day the week before. I took that that Thursday, and then Friday was a holiday, and I didn't have to work Saturday or Sunday. So then I took the rest of that week off afterwards, and that's this week when I'm recording this, which is probably last week when you're watching this, if that makes sense. Um, and Man, just a week's nice. It's kind of fun because I, I kind of forget about my job and like what <laughs> I, I do for a living. Ugh. It kind of puts it into perspective about how depressing that is. But whatever. Enough about that. It pays the bills and, you know, at least I'm not like killing people, so there's that. Just, just die already. Quit taking my crystals. Also, you know, I, I've noticed that it's kind of strange about the deep dungeon. I've seen it to where you need at least one crystal in order to find the spot to go to the next uh, map. You'll see it too, but I just, I never knew that. I thought you you step on the spot, you find the next. Doesn't matter what crystals you have. But I'm pretty sure I stepped on the. I step on the the spot that I need to be. It didn't activate to the next map, and I was just like, "Screw it, <laughs> let's just finish it off, and I'll go through it again." Because you can. And a second time around, I stood in that same spot, and it's like, "Oh, you found the next level." When there was a, a crystal that had fallen, I was like, Ugh, "Really? Weakness, weakness, weakness." That poor chicken. But you know, the nice nice thing is, is that like, you, you know, you'll you'll see the map if you decide to click on the link. Um, but in this video, you can see the exact spot too, so that's cool. Usually, it's like right around the corner. There's a couple tricky ones, but for the most part, it's just like right on a corner somewhere. Where could it be? Yeah, 
And there we go. Yeah, that one's in the corner. Cool. Really, once you finish the deep dungeon, the rest of the game's like a breeze. Like, I, this is way harder than the last part of the game. Okay, cool. So we finished the map, we found the next spot. Uh, next episode, we're going down to the third layer. So until then, this is L58 saying thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, appreciate, and, you know, if you haven't subscribed, do so! Help me out! Show some love! See you later. Bye.